to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. We're going to talk about the story, how the whale got his throat. So the setting must be in the middle of the ocean. It's probably the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a whale, and he liked to eat fishes. He ate all the fishes, like <laughs> all of them. Every single kind. He was of so fish. hungry, he couldn't stop eating. Here's a list of all of the fishes that the whale eats. Now he eats the starfish and the garfish and the crab and the dab and the place and the dace and the skate and the mate and the mackerel and the pickerel and the, the really truly twirly whirly eel. That's why he's hungry. Because he did a dab. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh,. This whale has eaten all the fishes, except for one. There's a mm-hmm. small stute fish. A stute fish. Oh, he was scared, so he hid behind this uh, the whale's right ear so he wouldn't be seen. To stay out of harm's way. Yep. At one point, the whale gets hungry. And he throws a little tantrum, and he's like, Ma! I want food! <laughs> Mama! The cupboards are empty! <laughs> And the, the stute fish, who knows, he could probably be eaten right now. He's like, if I tell him about something that's bigger than me, maybe I'm, I'll be safe. And he's like, have you ever tasted man? The whale's like, uh, no. What, what's that like? How would I know? I'm a stute fish. <laughs> I don't eat people. <laughs> I'm a little thing. But he said that they're nice, and, but nubbly. Because he heard from other people. From other other fishes, other stute fishes. He's a he's an astute fish. Yeah. He's he's a clever fish. So we just make it up so he doesn't eat him. <laughs> exactly. He's like, yeah, oh yeah, it's great. It's a little bit nubbly, whatever that means. I don't even know if that's an adjective. Uh, maybe nubbly is in like they've got bones that are maybe pokey or something. Mm-hmm. But again, yeah, this bony. is a tiny fish that would never know. The taste yeah. of a man. On and the whale doesn't know either. He's just like, all right, whatever's food. <laughs> I'll, eat, I'll yeah. eat it. He's like, nubbly, that sounds great. Whatever. Uh, get me some. And the, uh, the stoop fish is like, you only really need to have one at a time. Because <laughs> um, I only know where one is, so let's and, just start there. <laughs> and somehow I know precisely where one is. And it is... It's latitude 50 north. And l- longitude 40 west, mm-hmm. which puts you smack dab in, like, between Canada and Ireland. Yeah. Um, cl- a little bit closer to uh, Canada. He says, go, go, if you go up that way, I'm going to tell you what. There's, a, there's this dude. He's a mariner. Mariner. He's Scottish, just so you know. And he's on a raft. He's got... Because his mom let him leave. Yeah, his mom His mom was like, yeah, go uh, go out on a raft or something. <laughs> if he's got blue canvas breeches, um, but he had suspenders, so he cared about uh, keeping his pants up. Don't forget the suspenders. Don't forget the suspenders. Yeah, uh, he also had a jackknife. He was of infinite resource and uh, sagacity. 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 Um, one of one of those those ways of pronunciation, um, which basically just means he, he's astute like the fish. The whale's like, great. That sounds awesome. I'll go maybe a hundred miles to find this guy. They have to travel pretty big distance in order to reach that 40-50 line. Yeah, but he swam as hard as he could. He was like, he was hungry. He wants some food. And they can swim faster than we can drive. So, there. (laughs) Wow. It's magic. That's how fast it just, it literally just happened and they were there. Got to the dude. He's on, he is there twirling his toes in the water with all those attributes. Mm-hmm. He's got Especially the blue. those suspenders. Don't forget about that. Those suspenders, the blue canvas breeches. He's got that jackknife, and he continues to be sagacious. <laughs> the whale. He opens his mouth huge. Yeah, to the t- back of his tail almost. Splits himself in half like, in order to eat mwah. this tiny little guy. He opens his mouth back, back, big, wide, huge, as big as he could, and then he swallowed the Scottish Mariner uh, mm-hmm. along with. The raft. The raft. A jackknife. The suspenders. Don't forget about those suspenders. Super uh, important, guys. Don't forget. And uh, his infinite resources. 
Yeah. And sagacity. Saga- sagaciousness. Sagaciousness. Sagacity. Sagaliciousness. But yeah, so the Scottish mariner realizes that he's in the whale's dark, warm inside cupboards. Mm-hmm. And he starts dancing. For some reason, that just makes him want to dance. He stumped and he jumped and he thumped and he bumped and he pranced and he danced and he banged and he clanged and he hit and he bit and he leapt and he creeped and he prowled and he howled and he hopped and he dropped and he cried and he sighed and he crawled and he bawled and he stepped and he leapt and he danced hornpipes where he shouldn't have. Like, that's not cool, dude. Don't do that. So the whale was super, just super unhappy. Bro, that sucked. (laughs) Dude, what's going on in there? Why? Dude. I have the hiccups. (laughs) He's really nubby. He's nubbly. He's nubbly as f- Now I get it. Now I understand. He's super nubbly inside of me right now. I don't... What do I do? What? Which is like, again, I never ate again. I don't know. It's like, maybe you should just ask uh, ask him to leave. So, <laughs> so He's this, like, man, I should have told you that. He was full of that sagacity. <laughs> yeah. So I think that this was a fish's plan all along. Yeah. He's like, oh man, I should have told you about him. Yeah. He's astute. He's mm-hmm. clever. He's sagacious himself. And uh, now he's like, why don't you just ask him to to climb on out? Just be like, dude, sorry I ate you. Maybe you should uh, step on out. He's like, come out and behave yourself. He's like, dude, chill, kid. <laughs> Just come out and uh, we'll work. We'll work it out. I'm sorry. The <laughs> sagacious uh, mariner. He was like, Nah. You know what? I think you should just take me home. And I live real far away. Yep. I love. I live. I need to go back to Albion. So the whale's like, Yeah, dude. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm on my way. And he braces as fast as he can to Albion. Mm-hmm. And, and he gets Fast, him. faster, faster. He sees the white cliffs of Albion. And he goes halfway up the beach. He's a beach whale at this point. Yes. He's like, last stop. Uh, or, he said, change here for Winchester, Ashlot, Nashua, Keene, and stations on the Fitchburg Road. So that's like, he was acting like he was like a train conductor or something like that. Maybe yes. he's being kind of sarcastic. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm, we're here. So when he says Fitchburg, when the whale's mouth is like, Fitch. Uh, the dude walks out, which is a weird word to be... It's more of a closed mouth when you mm-hmm. say fitch. So maybe whales say it weird. He climbs out of out of the whale's mouth uh, upon the word fitch. And uh, what had happened as he was traveling like 700 miles or whatever, the dude inside, the mariner, he was carving into his raft a bunch of notches to make a cheese grater essentially and to secure that grater to the whale's throat he uh he took his wait for it suspenders <laughs> and he tightened them to the the whale's teeth and throat and mm-hmm. basically lodged it in in his throat um so now you know why we wanted you to remember the suspenders. Gave him lap band surgery. Suspender band surgery. The mariner, as he left the, the whale's mouth, right? And as he left, he said this uh, little Rudyard Kipling gem. By means of grating, I have stopped your aiding. Yeah. Right. Aiding, yeah. So I gave you lap band surgery so you can't eat so much now. Because you ate all the fish in the sea. So and you stop had to your re- aiding. You could have... <laughs> Not eating all the fish. Then you tried to eat me. <laughs> Stop eating things. Just but really, since you ate me, I gotta come home. But still, no more eating people. Just, yeah, you can only eat little fish, <laughs> little itty bitty fish, and, and plankton. He and goes to his mom's house and gets married. Lives happily ever after. Yep. The whales, I guess, he lives happily ever after he does as well. Do. Uh, but now the he doesn't happy. eat. He doesn't eat people he just eats really really small fish Um, which is why whales nowadays don't eat boys and girls Mm -hmm. but they eat little fish yeah that's all they can eat and he's fine with that because that's great yeah and the stute fish what had happened with the stute fish was the whale had left to albion and left the fish behind because he got scared that 
the whale was going to be angry with him. And he hid under the, the dorsals of the equator. Because um, the equator is just a, a doorway to another dimension, according to Richard Kipling. So uh, that's that tale. <laughs> <laughs>